So Republicans now in Virginia hoping a political outsider can change their political fortune. Choosing a former private equity CEO as their pick for governor. Democrats set to choose their nominee next month as the current Virginia Democrat Ralph Northam uh, hits his term limit. The Republican on the ballot will be Glenn Youngkin. He's with me now. And, sir, good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, this, listen, it was a purple state. I mean, a lot of people think it's just a flat-out blue state now. I didn't realize, but Republicans have not won a statewide race in more than 12 years. How do you change that? It, yeah, that's true. And I've been so encouraged as I've traveled around Virginia over the last four months campaigning at the groundswell of support from Republicans, from independents, and from Democrats. I'm a homegrown Virginian. I'm an outsider. I have a 30-year business career about getting things done, not empty promises that come from old politicians or, worse yet, the same old politician in Terry McAuliffe. And I hear over and over and over again, Glenn, we cannot afford a third term of the McAuliffe-Northam dynasty. Please take us someplace different. And that's what we've been talking to Virginian voters about, that, in fact, what we're going to do is get Virginia open and moving, put her back where she belongs as the best state in America to live and work and raise a family, Get our schools open, but not just that, but make sure our schools are teaching everybody how to think, not what to think, which is what Terry McAuliffe really wants to do. He wants to teach our kids what to think. And worse yet, he wants to absolutely get rid of our right to work status and make Virginia captive to the unions. Wow. So and this has just these, been these the are, death knell yeah. for, for, uh, so sorry for the states since the I'm, beginning. I'm tight on time. I apologize. Uh, very interesting issues about working and also school choice as well. Uh, McAuliffe um, has a lot of name recognition. A lot of people think he will be the guy that you will go up against. He sent out this tweet slamming you. He said, let me introduce you to Glenn Youngkin. Glenn's a Ted Cruz and Corey Stewart endorsed self-funding, big lie, believe in Trump loyalists who will stop at nothing to advance the the GOP's extreme agenda. What he's definitely not, the next governor of Virginia. I'll make sure of that and tweet there. You respond how to those? That's what you get with Terry McAuliffe, is divisive language all about dividing Virginia. And I got to tell you, this is why I got into this race to begin with. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of career politicians doing nothing but dividing us. And I think there's a new day in Virginia coming. And that's why I have so much support coming out of our convention, overwhelming support coming out of our convention, moving forward to unite Virginians and define a new day, which is one about opportunity, one about schools, one about uh, safe communities, but also about bringing people together, not dividing them. And all you get from Terry McAuliffe is division, and that's not what we're going to do in our campaign. All right. First time running for public office. Good luck. I'm sure it's an interesting ride. <laughs> Glenn Youngkin, thank you for your time. One of two critical races we'll be watching in 2021 at the gubernatorial level. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to being with you again. Thank you very much. Come on back, and we'll talk about it. I hope you get Terry McAuliffe on as well very soon. Well, you guys will yeah, Terry should come out. on. Yes. Um, there was a little bit of kerfuffle on Twitter mm. yesterday because Dave Wasserman of the Cook Political Report suggested that Republicans could win the gubernatorial mm. race this year in 2021. That got a lot of attention, but if, if he's saying it, I think it's a real possibility. Right. Take a look. Shall watch.